Hi artists. When making artwork, sometimes we feel pressure to make sure everything looks perfect. I've seen students start a drawing and draw two or three lines and then crumple up their paper, toss it out, get a new paper and start again. They do this two, three, four, even five times. I've also seen artists run into problems where maybe a mistake happens. Perhaps they're erasing their picture and their paper tears, or they place their artwork on a wet surface and their picture gets stained. I've also seen artists put their artwork on the drying rack and then someone else places their work on top and the two pieces stick together. So all artists run into problems sometimes. Sometimes we don't like the way our picture's turning out. Sometimes accidents happen that might affect our picture. The good news is that artists are problem solvers. There's a number of strategies that we can use when we run into problems to help solve those problems. So I'd like to share some of those strategies with you today. Sometimes when you make a mistake, the easiest way to fix it is by erasing. Of course, if you drew really hard with your pencil and the lines are really dark, it might be hard to erase those lines completely. So problem solving here, I might draw the image so that I like it. And then I can either think about using those um, eraser marks. Maybe it's part of the background. Maybe some of the circles that I drew can create an interesting design behind the person. Or perhaps I could use a crayon and color over those lines that I don't like on the face. Crayons and oil pastels, um, markers can cover over pencil lines. Now I can see, still see some of those um, pencil lines, but perhaps that can create an interesting texture on this person's face. It doesn't have to be a perfectly clean image. It's okay if I still see some pencil marks. That kind of shows my process for creating artwork. Sometimes some of the marks that I've made can be turned into something else. I see a line in the middle of his mouth, so maybe those are the teeth. I see a line above his mouth. Perhaps he just ate um, an ice cream cone and has ice cream around his mouth. So I can use creative problem solving to um, come up with a new story. Just add some strawberry ice cream. Or another solution. Another solution might be to get another piece of paper. It could be the same color white, or it could even be a colored piece of paper. And I'm going to glue this right on top of the part of my picture that I don't like. There are, um, there's a type of artwork called Sheen Calais where there's a lot of different pieces of paper glued to the background before the image is applied. And it creates this really cool effect where the image has a number of different colors in the background. It looks pretty neat. So you could give that a shot. Maybe we're adding paint to our picture, and while you're painting, you run into a problem. Perhaps you got paint somewhere where you didn't expect, or maybe your paintbrush is too thick and made really thick lines that you're unhappy with. Well, the good thing about a lot of the paint we use is that we can cover over that paint once it dries. So once my black paint dries, I can use other colors and just color right or paint right on top of it. It's a good idea to let that paint dry. Then I'm gonna mix a color that has a lot of white in it. I'm gonna make sure my brush is nicely dried off so the paint won't be transparent. I'll use a lot of white to make that paint opaque. And then I can just cover right on top of uh, the parts that I don't like. 
I've got a little bit of black paint there, so I'm gonna wash it out, mix that new color, and paint right on top. After this paint dries, I could go back and add um, the face again, maybe using a marker rather than the paint. So fine details are hard to, to create when we use paint. So you can always do mixed media where you use both markers and paint.